from Hollywood, it's season 30 of Dancing with the Stars. My name is Sio Korba, and welcome to my channel about stuff that I like to talk about, like the reality TV competition show Dancing with the Stars and how it did not become another reality TV show that came and went. Let's get into it. Welcome to Dancing with the Stars, season 30! The first episode of Dancing with the Stars premiered on June 1st, 2005. Fast forward 19 years later, and according to ScreenRant.com, the show is likely to return in September for season 33, making it one of the longest running reality TV shows right after The Real World and The Amazing Race. I haven't watched the show since 2014, and I thought the show ran its course at one point, but I was wrong. The show's ratings are still solid, and celebrities are still appearing on the show, and in my opinion, this is why. It is a known fact that celebrities that have appeared on the show experienced career comebacks, and because of that, there are various reasons behind celebrities appearing on the show, but there is also a common belief that celebrities appear on the show to rejuvenate their careers. There are celebrities that experienced a career resurgence after appearing on the show, and appearing on the show was a life-changing experience for some of them. Rumor Willis, the daughter of actor Bruce Willis and actress Demi Moore, competed on season 20 of the show and won. According to an interview with Glamour magazine, Rumor had been struggling with body image before she appeared on the show. I was constantly bullied because of my looks, so I struggled a lot with my body image. I wanted to have no butt. I wanted to have no boobs. For a long time, I just wanted to look tiny and androgynous. She also said that appearing on the show helped her overcome her fear of failure. When I signed on to do the show, I didn't know what to expect. I had no dance training, had never played sports, or even worked out before, but I came in with an open mind. I just wanted to become the best dancer I could be. Retired professional wrestler and WWE Hall of Famer Nikki Bella competed on season 25 and placed seventh. Nikki's dance partner on the show was Artem Chinvinstev. They started a relationship and got engaged in 2019, had a son the following year, and got married in 2022. If you've watched the show, you've seen the transformation of the celebrities that made it to the top five. They go from being novices to contenders, and during the finals, they talk about the impact the show has had on them. Dancing with the Stars to the viewers is a show or a guilty pleasure. To the celebrities competing on the show, it's an experience. The couple with the lowest combined total and therefore leaving right now. A reality TV show must have drama in order to sustain. It's the secret ingredient and Dancing with the Stars has had its share of drama. It's called shocking eliminations. Brandy and Max. <laughs> leaving right now is Heather and Max. Something happens, maybe votes. Uh, for... No words, Tom. Devastated, Allie Brooke begging the judges to allow James Vanderbeek to stay on the show in her place. Can I give it to James? Please? No, 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 no. That's that's lovely of you to say that. When a celebrity gets eliminated from the show that was viewed as a prospective winner, it sparks a reaction from the audience, creates speculation among the viewers, and then by the next episode, it's all a forgotten memory. There has also been drama between the stars and the pros because sometimes personalities don't mesh, disagreements occur, or stress from the pressure brought on from the show. Where there's none, you can't quit. 
one. I don't know that step. I don't like that step. I'm not doing that step. Why would you try to give me something some, some so difficult? Duh. I want this easy stuff. Teach me all the easy Who stuff. Who love lost here? Former Dancing with the Stars pro was as unfiltered as ever on the podcast, allegedly not holding back any feelings about his season 13 partner. He said, quote, she's just a shitty person. You can have a shitty life growing up, but if you're a bad person, there's no excuse for that. The feud stems from allegations Hope made in her 2012 memoir, in which she claims Maxim, quote, manhandled her and, quote, slapped her across the face during rehearsals. Maxim has denied the allegations. The pros and the stars have had their moments with the judges. I liked it, right. DL, but the judges didn't love it. How hard is it to hear their comments? I think, I think, uh, I just think he's an ass. I do, and I, I just do. <laughs> Which one? Uh, well, you could spread that out. I don't really. <laughs> Over the entire them, yeah, judges' I just, table. I think, I think that it's ridiculous to, to kind of uh, judge a cat that's never danced before. Yeah. This, I, it's, it's silly to me. And, and now I'm starting to feel uh, uh, personal, so I, I probably better not say too much. because Instances of chemistry between the stars and the pros that either sparked rumors or sparked relationships outside of the show. Dancing with the Stars isn't just a dance show, it's also a soap opera and a dating show. Controversial celebrities that appeared on the show. Celebrity wins that were divisive because there was a belief that another celebrity should have won. There might be some type of politics involved. Or the celebrity had an unfair advantage because of their dance background. When I used to watch the show, I understood why people thought that the celebrity's dance background would be an unfair advantage. But the celebrities that had a dance background were mostly experienced in hip-hop and Broadway and ballroom dancing is a completely different dance style. So the celebrities that had dance experience were still learning from scratch, like the other celebrities. Anyone that's been watching Dancing with the Stars for a while knows that the show has changed over the years. New pros are constantly joining the show, while most of the original pros that have been on the show since the beginning have left, and this creates opportunities for the new pros to carry the show. The hosts of the show are constantly changing, and this doesn't seem to hinder the show. It's not like Survivor where you can't see anyone else but Jeff Prost hosting the show. The show continued after longtime host Tom Bergeron's departure, and it looks like Alfonso Ribeiro and Julian Huff will continue hosting the show. I also think that another factor in the show's continuity is the cast. Just like any other reality competition show, a different cast of celebrities are brought in each season, which means different personalities to support or vote off. The show continuously changing contributes to it remaining a long running show. After a show has been running for a certain number of seasons, they establish a fan base that watches every season and this contributes to the longevity of the show even after it has ended. Dancing with the Stars has been on the air for 32 seasons because it has a fan base consisting of people that started watching after a certain season and a new generation of viewers due to the show continuing to evolve and reflect the current times. Dancing with the Stars implements what I think are the secret ingredients for a long running reality TV show. Drama, continuously evolving, and establishing a loyal fan base. There are reality TV competition shows currently on the air that I think are on their way to becoming long running shows, America's Got Talent and The Masked Singer. I think that Dancing with the Stars will continue until the network decides to pull the plug. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Get you some of that.